Hey guys, it's Ori and Carol Marie here with Overvanding Solutions. Welcome back to our channel. Okay, right off the bat, you guys can tell this is a layout that we have never done before. And that's the thing about working with a custom band conversion company. We tailor to your needs. We build around your hobbies or your wants and desires and everything that you see in here is pretty much changeable. At the front of the van, you see there is a bench for sitting, for sitting whether you wanna eat or work or play. Uh, two people can sit here comfortably. The two front seats swivel around so that you can have more company and joy sitting at the table with you. The bench is completely empty, so it's open for all kinds of storage. And there is a large cabinet above the seating area for lots of storage above there. Above the two front seats, we also have a headliner shelf with a privacy curtain. Moving on back, we have the kitchen. We have our signature fold-up butcher block counter Top. We have a deep sink here that can fit full-size dishes. We also have butcher block that covers um, the sink up for extra counter space. We have a nice faucet here. Two burner induction cooktop. Down below we have a big storage cabinet with a slide out trash can. Next to it we have our pantry. We have just shelves. When you have a small space, sometimes drawers can take up extra room. And so when you're fighting for inches, sometimes we just say go with shelves to get all the possible storage you can. Above the kitchen lower, we have the upper cabinets here. This houses the upper control panel and a bit of room for storage. Ori will go over the electrical and plumbing with you later. In the very back of the van, we have the platform bed. And this is what is definitely new for us. We've never done a platform bed build before, but our client is an avid mountain biker and he wants to be able to store his mountain bike inside of his van, of course. So we made it happen. We built this nice tall bed so his bike fits easily inside in the garage space, which we will show you later. This bed is six inches of latex, so it's really comfortable for sleeping. We have two bunk windows in the back for light and that slide open for extra ventilation. And on one side of the bed, we have extra cabinetry space uh, to store all kinds of stuff up there. Let's talk about the electrical system. Under the bed here, we have four 200 amp hour batteries. We have our Victron Multi Plus 3000 inverter charger. In the garage area, we also have our lower control panel, which kind of connects everything together. Right here, we have our upper control panel, which is kind of the control center of the van. With our upper control panel and lower control panel are offered as kits available on our website. If you're building your van yourself and you want some electrical help, those make it super easy. It's pretty much plug and play. So we'll put a link below if you're interested in those and reach out if you have any questions. Up here, the control panel, we have an AC breaker panel. So if you want to turn on your water heater, you can just flip the breaker and turn it on. If you accidentally mess up and trip a breaker, you don't have to remove panels and covers. You just come right here and reset the breaker and you're back in business. Right here, we have the Victron uh, Servo GX Touch 70. It shows us the status of our batteries our inverter, our solar panels, our gray tank, our water tanks. It shows us everything on this one screen. And then we can go in the menu and change, turn stuff on and off and change settings anytime we want to. It's very handy. Right here we have five DC switches. They control things like water, water pumps, dump tanks, um, the alternator charging system and all of that. So that we, we like to keep it here so it's easy to get to, but it doesn't take up a lot of space. On this plumbing system, back here we have a 46 gallon freshwater tank. 
We have a four gallon Bosch electric water heater. We also have valves in here and uh, an air blowout to winterize the system so you have no air left or water left in your system in the winter that can freeze. In our plumbing, we use expansion packs. It's, we prefer it because if you were to ever leave water in your lines and it freezes, they can expand and retract and not bust. So we think it's the most robust plumbing system on the market. In here we have our shower. We've decorated it with Palisades tile. We think it's a beautiful, very functional product. We have in there the Laveo dry flush toilet, user friendly and just a great toilet. We use a, an Oxygenix Fury shower head. It combines air and water to give you more pressure with less water consumption. So you can take a, a pressurized shower with using less water. We also have the sliding door here for privacy and water when you're in there using the bathroom or the shower. We also have a shutoff valve on the shower head so that when you're showering, you can shut the water off really quick to conserve any amount of water possible so your fresh water will last much longer. This van is equipped with um, an air conditioner, vent fan, and heater. The air conditioner is the Dometix RTX 2000, which is a DC air conditioner, which means that it's really efficient off-grid. We have the Max Air vent fan, which is power lift and close and it has an adjustable thermostat so it can turn on based on whatever temperature you set it to. The heater is installed under the passenger seat. It's the S-Bar S2D2L. It uses diesel fuel from the fuel tank of the van to burn and create heat to keep the van nice and warm in the winter. Here we have our garage area. Behind this wall, we have the batteries, inverter, water tank, and water heater stored. We have our lower control panel here. We have this nice slide out bike tray to store mountain bikes safely on. We have our awning accessories stored there. Our outdoor shower to spray off our dirty mountain bikes and shoes before we get in the van. We have these nifty nets to store things while the doors are shut and you're in bed mode. You've probably seen a lot of videos of pretty vans on YouTube and social media. We wanted to talk about what sets us apart from other builders. I have an engineering degree. I have experience in electrical and mechanical engineering. So I use both of those experiences to build these vans so that they have a complete working, functioning, really well built electrical system. And the mechanical structures of all the components are built to withstand the test of time. So when we work with a client and we explain to them the processes that we go through to achieve the build, they're always super happy with the steps that we go through, the behind the scenes things that no one sees in a video or a picture, but the way that we go about fastening everything to the van, the extra steps that we take to ensure safety, security, and longevity of this van. Because these vans we build, they are a part of us. They're part of our, our being, they're part of our soul. We put everything we have into them to ensure that the client not only gets a pretty van, but a well-functioning van, and that it works exactly how they wanted it to, not how we wanted it to work for them. We be sure to get feedback from the clients so that we can understand what they want, and then we give them exactly what they want, and usually we exceed expectations. We either meet or exceed their expectations in functionality because they didn't think of certain things that we did. And the reason we can help with that is because we lived in a van for a while and we know what works and doesn't work out on the road and we tie all of that knowledge back into how we construct the vans so that they can live a really long and beautiful life of traveling. Speaking from experience, van life looks a lot like this. Cargo door slid open, hanging out outside, awning out, enjoying the view around you, just living life in the outdoors. We like to incorporate things in our van builds that make that even more enjoyable. One of those features is having a table on the outside. This slide out table is discreetly built into this cabinet so you don't even really know that it's there and it slides out great for putting drinks or snacks while you're sitting out here enjoying the outdoors. Another bonus feature on the outside of the van is this nifty shoe storage. Storage is king when it comes to van space. And so we like to use every little inch and that's just a great place to slide your shoes before you hop in your van. 
Okay, and now moving on to the exterior of this beautiful van. First of all, we did a van compass suspension upgrade. We do a suspension upgrade to all of our full van conversions so that the van rides smooth but also performs well in all weather situations. We also did Linex to the bottom panels as well as the hood. Not only does this look good on a van, but it also protects these high traffic areas from travels on the road. The exterior is equipped with a Fiamma crank out awning. We always encourage our clients to add an awning to their vans. It's nice to crank it out and enjoy where you are, have a little shade and just relax. This outdoors van has plenty of Illuminesque gear on it. The client went with the roof rack, which is what the solar panels are mounted to. It also has a ladder on the side of the van going from the ground all the way up to the roof rack. And with that suspension upgrade, the van sits a little higher off the ground. So we installed Nerf bars to assist getting in and out of the van. Lastly, we upgraded the wheels and tires. Thank you guys for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed this new floor plan. If you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. We are already well underway on another build. So check back for more videos in the future. Bye guys. Bye.